Hello again. Back on the road. Hey, um, there is something that uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about when it comes to this process. And it is going to seem a little bit counterintuitive. Um, when we step to the plate uh, in this process of trying to start changing ourselves, I think that there is... Um, there's been enough uh, that I've seen in this process that the best success, the most, I guess I should say, um, some of the fastest improvement that I've seen has definitely come from the people that can be fearless about this process. When I say fearless, I mean getting to this point where you're so fed up with the way things are that you're willing to change it and it's interesting uh, some of the things that people hesitate on the things that they're um, that they that they don't want to let go of I think there's definitely something to be said for really analyzing the things that we feel this hesitation towards wanting to change because with this process changing it um, or at least releasing the blocks to changing it are really easy. Um, It's very simple, believe it or not. But what I find to be the most challenging is that people don't really want to change it. They do, but they don't. And so the people that have made that commitment jumped over that hurdle and said, you know what, yeah, maybe I have some hesitation, but I'm going for it. And so that can be really difficult and sometimes what holds us back is intriguing so for example you know I know at least one person who really just you know they 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 don't they want to get better but they don't they get they get a lot of attention from feeling sick and so there's this hesitancy where they're you know and they're broken I mean just down to the to the to the nub um, of of being very ill, but they're holding on to this belief somewhere, and uh, that you know that they're still getting something from that, that there's some benefit there for them to hold on to it, and so you know if there's something about you know when you go over these lists of questions and you think I'm not ready to change that yet, or I'm not ready to change this yet. You know, I would almost encourage people to really take a hard look at that because where you're finding that you're putting up your own block and it's obvious um, that you're dodging it or procrastinating it, it's probably one of the most important things for you to clear uh, because it's, it's, you know, but, but the problem is, is that getting it to clear um, is going to be so much more powerful and so much more smoothly facilitated if you can get to the point where you say hey uh, this is really this ha- I have to I have to get to this point where I'm saying you know what I've weighed it out and I've looked at these two options that I have here and I think when I weigh it out what I could have with this out of my way is so much more powerful than what I would have if I leave it the way it is. And so, you know, some people, uh, you've heard the people just say, um, oh, make a checklist of goods and bads. But I would say, you know, take it another step and um, really envision what it would be like to have whatever this issue is gone. And take a real good look at that. And and kind of take a note, too, of, of, you know, how do you feel right now? Um, a lot of people will use a number sequence, so like where one is the best and ten is the worst. You know, how, how do you feel right now uh, on this scale? And if, let's say it's a seven, and if you you can sit there and say to yourself, you know, what if this was exactly the way I wanted it right now? And this particular issue, what would it look like if I 
had it exactly the way I wanted it right now. And then take some real time. Close your eyes and just really visualize what it would be like if it was ideal. If, if, if you had your dream circumstance. Um, and if that, and then feel how that feels and take, you know, really go into that feeling and observe it and just say, you know, well, how does that feel compared to where I'm at now? And if that's not motivation enough to jump the hurdle and go for it and, um, you know, then I'd be surprised because really when you take some time and allow your mind to explore the options, what it could be like. And it doesn't have to be outrageous. You know, it could be simply, um, hey, I can go for a walk once a day. You know, if you're somebody that has a problem with, you know, exercising, you say to yourself, like, in your perfect world, what what could it be like? Uh, You know, you say, hey, I go, you know, it could be simple. Hey, I I walk once a day. I get to be in nature once a day. It feels great. And I can see myself walking. And that's not an outrageous goal. Um, But when you really get into the feeling of that of what it feels like to just be out there in nature and be able to be mobile again be able to walk again and you know feeling like you're doing something towards living a healthier life I mean it's fine to be realistic in that visualization uh, but you know it's all it doesn't hurt to be um, you know to really go all the way and sometimes just play with it have fun with it imagine what it could be like in a completely perfect scenario uh, you know and set that just set the bar a little bit you know give yourself some kind of a, a, an ability to go over and think about what would it be like if I was totally free of this fear what would it be like if I really didn't have these money problems what would it be like if you know I had my health back what you know it's okay to to explore how that feels if the goal of you doing it is just to get rid of uh, the hesitancy of moving forward and trying to take some steps to clear the beliefs that may be holding you back. I just, I found it to be so intriguing that, um, you know, people are doing literally nothing more than um, taking a few seconds of their time to remove these giant obstacles, and yet they would throw up roadblocks to removing the obstacles, which is hilarious, um, because there was just some kind of something there that's holding them back. So really by allowing yourself to explore what it could be like, uh, and you know, you're not setting yourself up for failure with this. You're not, you know, trying to imagine this perfect, you know, I've met my dream person and I'm living in some mansion and you know, have it not pan out and just be so disappointed. But what you're doing is you're just using it like a lever, um, at a point of leverage to give yourself the motivation that you need to go for it, to get it out. Because really doing the block removal, it's not, I've said it before, it's not about making the change right then and there. All it's doing is making it possible. So, it, and it's funny to me the amount of encouragement that has to go into some of these communications with people um, just to get them to the point of saying all I'm trying to do here is just give you a doorknob on the wall because right now you have walls every which way on this topic and so you don't even have a way out if you wanted one right now you, you've got all these blocks up to your success with money or your success with health or your success with peace in your life or your success with joy all these all these belief systems that just prevent it and I think that there's this tendency for people to think that oh my goodness you know if I uh, if I make this belief change that things are going to be different in the morning or things are going to be different like as soon as I'm done and that's not true you still have to take action to some degree um, to to have to allow these things into your life. But all we're doing is a, is adding a way out. We're giving you the opportunity to be able to get, you know, to to step out and you know explore these these potentials. So as opposed to having very little chance or having you know a lot of constant. Um, 
resistance to success in those areas. So I guess what I'm saying is um, being afraid to give yourself an avenue to expand is something that happens a lot when it seems like when I'm dealing with different people and I it's interesting too because I can have the most open person they're just they're they throw all caution to the wind on every topic they run into one topic and they say I don't think I want to change that and that's fine in some cases they could be totally right that is not something that they want to change um but it's definitely worth a look to say well what is it about this that I don't want to change and just because I just because I open the door on this topic doesn't mean I have to step through it. It just means that's available to me. That option becomes available to me. You know, if I want to become a millionaire, great. That option's available to me. I'm not going to take any action towards it. I'm probably not ever going to get there. But at least the option's available to me. It may, you know, before I believed I was, you know, I deserve to be poor. You know, um or because my mom was poor, I'm, I have to be poor. These are some, some crazy beliefs that people hold on stuff like this. So, um, it's really definitely, it's a, it's a point where you should say to yourself, what is it that I'm really afraid of here? Um, and, and take a good look at it because it's, uh, it, it could be one of the most important things for you to change. So, um, yeah anyway so I just wanted to talk just on that topic of of being fearless because um again we're not nothing's changing overnight your attitude might change you might be more open to these things coming to you you may have a lot more people just showing up and offering you things in that particular um, of that particular issue you know if you throw open the door to loving somebody and you know you meet five people in the course of that month that ask you out on a date oh well that doesn't mean you have to say yes it doesn't mean anything it just means that that avenue is now available to you you've opened that potential um, to have that in your life if you want it so so I would not be worried about clearing things I would not be worried about paving the way for it and timing is is important I mean there's divine timing in a sense um, so if, if you're not ready for something, you're that, then it's, you know, it'll come in due time, but if you've cleared for it, then the universe can start working to bring that to you when the time is right. So, you know, and, and in a lot of cases, <laughs> some of the stuff that works its way to you takes a long time. It seems to take a long time in some cases, certain things, um, we have to be a little patient with because it's working out all the details of how to get it to us. But if we're carrying the belief that we don't want it, um, it's not going to bring it to us. You know, even if it is in perfect time, it's going to have a hard time getting anything, you know, for us because we're not asking for that. We're asking for it to, to keep us in poverty, for example. But if we start saying, I want to be a successful entrepreneur, I could start, I could clear for that right now five, ten years from now, I might be, you know, but if I had never cleared for that, those opportunities may not have presented themselves to me, you know, it may not be something I chase after, maybe somebody just stumbles onto my work and says, I think we could do some really great stuff with this, that would be excellent, you know, but I had to have those beliefs available for that to ever uh, come into play, and when I may not be ready for that right now, uh, maybe not for the next five or ten years, but when the time is right, I, I will have those beliefs already in place. The universe already knows, hey, this is something she'd like to do. Let's make this available when, when the time is right. So I really just encourage people, you know, don't be fearless with the block clearing. I mean, be, be fearless with the block clearing stuff. Don't be scared of um, allowing yourself to have more options. I don't know if you're, you enjoy buffets. I love buffets. I love having all these different things available to me. It's one of my favorite things is just having the options, all these options. To me, that's a lot of fun. For some people, it's very overwhelming. Um, but <clears throat> just, you know, understanding that you're not necessarily in it alone. You know, there's a lot of other factors here. Um, and 
call it whatever you want to, source, universe, you know, uh, collective mind, your higher self, whatever works for you, it doesn't really matter, but there really is um, this overlay of um, communication that goes on, so um, it feels like we're alone. I know it feels like we're alone. Sometimes it feels overwhelmingly like we're alone, but we really aren't. Um, everything is connected, and um, so I guess I just want to say, you know, the more doors you can throw open in your life, the more opportunities you're going to have, and sometimes it's beautiful, and if we're open to how those opportunities present themselves, um, it can be a really a fun and exciting life and uh, a lot less stressful because we aren't trying to fit everything in a box of what we think things should be but instead we are putting out to the universe hey this is the kind of stuff I want in my life and then it just can bring it all it can present it um, and when we're open and how that comes back to us then that can be you know just a very exciting journey um, so, you know, try to be a little fearless in this process and definitely take the time to explore the stuff that you feel like you, you know, if you feel like, oh, I'm going to go do this today. Oh, maybe tomorrow. Oh, maybe tomorrow. Oh, maybe tomorrow. See if you can really just pinpoint, is there a certain topic that you're dodging? Is there a certain, you know, is there some, something about it that has you nervous? And see if you can pinpoint what it is. It's like, oh, if I clear this, you know, what do you believe when you, you know, if I, what do you believe will happen if you, if you clear this stuff? What exactly do you think will the, the outcome be if you were to do it? Do you think it's going to change you? Do you think it's going to make you uh, not work in a, re in a relationship that you're in because you, you need to be broken to be there? I mean, there are certain beliefs that people hold, um, and it is a little scary. They really think that they're going to drastically change. Now, the changes that, the changes I've seen, for the most part, is just really having a sense of peace and um, far more centered, a lot less affected by things externally. Um, to have more of a sense of self and uh, more of a sense of um, maybe not as much tolerance for people that treat us badly. So I'm not going to say it's not it's not possible for us to have some shifts um, in our, you know, in the people that we hang out with and surround ourselves with um, as we kind of build ourselves within, you know, but change is inevitable. It's just, a, it's one of the, you know, few constants. So it, I think it's really illusionary to think that things aren't going to change in life. They, they're going to change. Um, but this gives you the opportunity to be coming at the change in the most complete you um, you can possibly hit it with. So you're going to have that change present itself to you, and you're going to be in a real balanced, centered place where you can make really good decisions. You know, and change isn't always bad. Um, you know, in fact, I've never really thought change is bad at all. Um, sometimes it can feel bad while you're going through it. But ultimately, everything typically does seem to happen for a reason. So and when you look, sometimes you got to get out far from it and look back at it to really understand the whole sequence of events, to understand why things played out that way. But I think if you can just hold the space for knowing that you don't have to know everything, um, and just release that part and just do your job and just keep you um, in a good place and do the most work you can on yourself and, you know, do your best to try and promote that, you know, consciousness and expansion in others when you have the opportunity um, in whatever way works for you, you know. So just keep going, keep growing. Um, I would, you know, really take a good look at yourself. A lot of this is about taking a hard look at yourself. So if you are feeling resistant or you're procrastinating and you can't put your finger on it, th those, are, those are the moments where you may see the most amount of benefit if you can put your finger on what it is that's scaring you so much. You know, and it really can be as simple as just asking yourself, 
what is it about this that scares me? And be honest with yourself. What is it about this that scares me? Okay, I feel like it's going to change me. Okay, is it going to change me? What happens if I change? What, I'm, I'm looking at this, these things that I'm putting into my life, and it's a lot of positive stuff, saying I want to be healthier, happier, um, be more loving, be more p- patient. You know, it's like whatever it is that you're trying to open the door to, what do you, what do you see going through that door that, that's so scary? You know? Are you, you think that if you're in a bad relationship with somebody that treats you badly and you just keep putting up with it, are you afraid that you're going to get your self-esteem and confidence and then suddenly have to face a, a divorce? Are you, you know, are you in a relationship with your parents and your parents are, you know, you guys just don't get along and you're afraid that maybe if that happens that you won't be able to stay close with them? I mean, these are, these are fair arguments. These are kinds of things that will come up. Um, you know, if, if you are to do work on, on your job or feeling like you're confident and you, are you afraid that you're suddenly going to hate your career and then be, you know, because you feel like you can do better. I mean, these are, these are the kinds of things that people might be thinking about before they want to, you know, that would hold them back from wanting to do these types of clearings. It's the unknown, but in all reality, um, it's just going to make you more centered, allow you to make better decisions in general, um, and give you basically just a bunch of open doors for you to step through. So nothing's really changing. I mean, aside from just feeling a lot more balanced and calm in general and being able to, um, you know, be less affected externally by things, you're, you're really a lot more centered and grounded and you really have a lot of, uh, open open doors in front of you so yeah yeah it could definitely bring change but it won't be anything that you don't you don't elect to walk through those doors to so anyway that's that's the closest I can get you to trying to explain this concept um it is tricky it's definitely hard and I think that anybody that learns this process and wants to show it to other people you're you're gonna find you're gonna find that people they'll do it a few times, this is the one that gets me, they'll do it a few times, and they'll be like, this is amazing, oh my gosh, I can't believe how well this works, and they'll stay like that on those issues that they, that they did the work on, and yet, they won't come back to it, (laughs) they'll just stop, and, and you sit there, and you scratch your head thinking, I don't get it, like, and here's this great tool that can do so many, so many things, and help them, and they just, um, they just stop with it, and I do think a lot of it's because people are afraid that it's going to change them too much, or that they're going to, they're not going to be able to be in their, in their present life the way it is, or, um, yeah, so anyway, yeah, the reality is, is, yes, things will change, yes, things always change, Uh, this gives you the most, uh, expansive way to approach change in your life and it gives you the most amount of options for moving forward in change but to think that things will never change that's that's an illusion so anyway um that's all I got for tonight and I just want to say thanks for listening to my videos